This is the London Underground Mosquito. Hank, Marvin. Pleasure to meet you. To come across this buzzing little bloke in person, you'll need to travel to London and specifically head down into the subway. Chocker down here, isn't it? Because among 3,000 species of mosquitoes in the world, you'll only find this guy in the London subway. Not buzzing above ground near the stations, but down in the system. This mosquito is one of those rare cases when a unique species evolves in one particular place. They built the system back in the 1860s. It's the oldest subway in the world, mind you. And any mosquitoes that happened to be down there got shut off from the rest of the world. Save for the entrances and exits at stations, the subway system is a pretty sealed environment. The mosquitoes got trapped and evolved right there. And if you're annoyed by all mosquitoes in general, get this, the London underground species is even bitier than others. While above ground mosquitoes mostly feed on birds and grab a bite from you when given the rare chance, this one really likes to go for people. That's because it may do with the meals available to it. Not birds, but mammals. That is, rats and humans. It's also unique in that it doesn't need blood to lay eggs like other mosquitoes and doesn't hibernate in the winter. So expect to swat at them year round. Also a result of their being secluded to this underground tunnel system. No obvious seasonal temperature changes down there. This London type is so unique that it can't even crossbreed with other mosquito species. But beware, this species could be on the move. Infestations of particularly bitey mosquito populations have popped up in subway systems and sewers around the world, from Melbourne to New York. So let's head across the pond and meet another bug that lives only in the big city. Of over one billion ants running through the streets of Manhattan, Scientists spotted a unique reddish-brown variety. That's about 120 ants for every person living in New York. These insects don't fit into any of the 13,000 ant species known to science. They're unique and only live in Manhattan between 63rd and 76th streets. Scientists don't know how long these so-called Manhattans have evolved in isolation. They arrived in the U.S. on ships from Europe and were cut off from the rest of the city's infrastructure. One thing's for sure, the species thrives on fast food, especially corn syrup. Because of its carbon-rich diet, the Manhattan was able to perfectly adapt to the dry, warm weather of the concrete jungle. Both ants and mosquitoes lived with dinosaurs. But don't get too excited about cloning a T-Rex by taking blood from a fossilized mosquito. We'll leave that myth to Hollywood plots. DNA is an incredibly fragile molecule. It breaks down quickly. So you'll need a mostly fresh sample from a recently departed dino. Chances are, we can't bring the dinosaurs back. But no need to. Dinosaurs live among us today. Everybody thinks an asteroid wiped out all the dinos 65 million years ago, but it didn't. Some survived and evolved into creatures you see every single day. Birds. In fact, the closest living relative to the mighty T-Rex is the chicken. Tarantulas in the wild keep tiny frogs as pets. Well, they don't feed them or take them for walks, but they do let the little froggies hang around with them. It's a win-win relationship. The frog gets a big hairy bodyguard from things that want to eat it, and the tarantula gets a protector for its nest. These tiny frogs feed on ants that try to eat the spider's eggs. There's no distinct border where our atmosphere ends and space begins. As you go up and further from the surface, the air gets thinner and thinner. At some point, it loses enough density that airplane wings stop working. That's about 60 miles up and where scientists decided space officially starts. Yes, the cosmos is just an hour's drive away. The photoreceptors in your eyes are so sensitive, they can project an image when it's not even there. Ever stared at a bright light, moved your eyes to something else in the room, and you can still see the shape of that light bulb floating before your eyes? That's your eyes continuing to send visual information to your brain. A healthy human eye can see a candlelight up to 30 miles away. 
the Mariana Trench, the deepest known place on this planet that could fit Mount Everest with room to spare, goes only six miles down. The leaf slug eats so much algae, their body absorbs a part of the plant cells, chloroplasts, that let these little guys actually photosynthesize. Basically, this sea slug is part animal and part plant. When you dream, the props come from those older parts of the human mind that refer more to genetic memory than to your own personal ones. Smartphones and cars came into our lives in relatively recent times, and our cave people brains haven't gotten used to them enough. That's why you hardly ever see tech in your dreams. Okay, say you're one of the lucky few who's used a phone in their dream. Did you struggle to read or write a text? It's because the two regions of your brain that help you interpret language are mostly inactive when you're asleep. It's a good trick to know you're in a dream. You won't be able to read words or tell the time on a clock. Imagine if we could record a black hole on video. Watch it pull in and consume any matter that gets too close, even light itself. Oh, spaghettification. Now take this recording and play it backwards. This is what a theoretical white hole should be. The black hole's pushing away and matter spewing counterpart. If you've seen videos of whales surfacing, you'll notice they spray water from their blowholes. Only they don't. Whales are mammals like you and me. They breathe air. That's why they come to the surface. They release old air they've been holding in their lungs and take in new fresh air. That warm air coming from the blowhole meets with cold air around it and forms water droplets, giving the illusion that blowholes are like fountains. Get equipped for any season with brand new Brightside merch. Click the link and grab your print. You can tell a whale's type by looking at its blowhole. If it has two nostril-looking holes, it's a baleen whale, the kind with teeth that look more like toothbrush bristles. One blowhole means it's a toothed whale, which includes dolphins and orcas. The mighty megalodon was over half the length of a blue whale, the largest creature that's ever lived in all of Earth's history. Scientists did a computer calculation of a meg's bite force and came up with something like 18 tons per square inch. That's over 10 times stronger than a great white shark's and enough to crush whale bones like a grape. Thanks to cell regeneration, you replace your skin entirely every month, your blood every four months, your liver 500 days, and you make yourself a whole new skeleton every 10 years. <sighs> Scientists think we yawn to get more oxygen to the brain. When you get bored or tired, you don't breathe as deeply and it starves the brain a little. The lungs expanding and stretching the surrounding muscles also helps wake the body up. Cicadas are totally unique on this planet in that they have no natural enemies. Since they come out of their underground shelters every 13 or 17 years, no other animal can depend on them as a food source. Scientists believe that early humans lost their fur so they wouldn't overheat while hunting. We instead evolved to store fat to keep warm, which is why your head is covered in long, thick hair. There's no fat on your scalp. A teaspoon of neutron star material weighs 10 million tons. That'd be like squishing millions of Earths into a ball the size of Manhattan. If you could stand on the surface of a neutron star, your body would be instantly squished down and spread into a layer one atom thick. Yep, you'd be two-dimensional, just like a cartoon. Get this, a million seconds is about 11 days. One billion seconds is 30 years. A billion steps would take you 15 times around the Earth's equator. And if you started counting from one to one billion right now, it would take you 95 years to finish. Okay, let's get started. One, two. One dog year equals seven human years. That's an oversimplified and widespread myth. Aging in dogs and cats can depend on the breed, size, and their age. For example, one year for most dogs equals about 15 human years. That jumps to 24 at age two and slows down to around four more human years with each birthday. It then speeds up yet again after their first six years, especially for larger breeds. 
Most animals have tails, so why don't humans? It's because we started walking on two legs. Tails help with balance, but when your body mass is upright with that 10-pound head sitting on top, you don't need another appendage at the other end to balance it all out. If you're ever on a plane and the landing feels like it was accidentally rough, it was probably done on purpose. A plane's wings produce more lift when they're closer to the ground, pushing it back up into the air. The best way to prevent this is with a firm landing that puts the wheels on the runway as soon as possible. Harder landings also give the wheels more traction on rainy or snowy runways. If your second toe is longer than the big one, you're pretty special. Only one in 10 people have this so-called Morton's toe. In ancient Greece, a foot with Morton's toe was considered a sign of beauty. By the way, the Statue of Liberty has it too. Contrary to popular belief, the tongue is not the strongest muscle in your body. That would be your jaw muscle. Plus, the tongue isn't technically a muscle, it's eight of them woven together. Structurally, it's very similar to an octopus arm. Nope, that wasn't a slip. An octopus does have arms, not tentacles. And they only have six arms. The other two are legs. Arms have suction cups all the way down their length. Tentacles only have suction cups at the end. And that's what squids have two of. If you could open your head and poke your brain, you wouldn't feel anything. It might be the powerhouse of the nervous system, but it doesn't contain any sensory receptors for contact stimuli, aka it doesn't feel pokes and prods. Horse hooves and rhino horns are made of the same stuff as your hair and nails, keratin. Rhino horns curve back because the keratin in the front grows faster than in the back. One of the oldest tips out there is to run from a crocodile in zigzags since it's hard for the animal to turn around quickly and follow you. This is just a complete myth. Just run in a straight line as fast as you can. Don't bother climbing a tree either. Crocs can climb those too. Don't ever practice your dunking skills on Comet 67P. Its gravity is so weak, your jump would surpass its escape velocity. That's the minimum speed you need to escape the pull of gravity, like rockets blasting off Earth. On this comet, you jump up and go floating off into space. There's a species of giant earthworms that can grow as long as your leg. They live specifically in the Palouse prairie lands of Idaho and Washington. Oh, and these ginormo worms smell like lilies. Dinosaurs had fleas the size of cockroaches. Well, they weren't technically fleas because they couldn't jump high like the modern day ones. But they could get their mouth parts through dino skin. If you swallow gum, it doesn't stay in your stomach for seven years. That's a myth. Sure, your saliva and stomach acid can't break it down, but the muscles of your digestive tract move it along, and it makes its exit in a day or two. Mosquitoes can live perfectly fine on flower nectar instead of your blood. And it's only the females that bite humans, and they do it because they need a protein found in blood to produce eggs. The largest flower in the world also happens to be the stinkiest. With a bloom about three feet across and weighing roughly 15 pounds, the corpse lily smells like rotting meat. Sharks are the only fish that can blink with both eyes, but it's not to clean or hydrate them. They blink to protect their eyes while biting into their lunch. The average cumulus cloud, that's the big poofy kind, weighs just over 1 million pounds. That's the weight of about 100 fully grown elephants floating above your head on a cloudy day. If you shout in space, nobody will hear you. It's because there are no molecules in the vacuum of space for the sound waves to travel through. Dark and light look way more contrasted on the moon. On our planet, the atmosphere diffuses sunlight, so objects remain a little illuminated in the shadows. The moon has a next to nothing super thin atmosphere, so shadows are blacker. But when there's light, it shines on the moon much stronger because of its reflective dust. We went to the moon before wheels were added on suitcases. That second giant leap for our species happened a couple years later. The light stars emit is constant and steady. The Earth's atmosphere interferes and makes it look as if they're twinkling when they're not at all. 
Information moves along nerves at about 200 miles per hour, getting from one place to another in a matter of milliseconds. That's why you jerk your hand back so fast when you accidentally touch that hot pizza pan. Electrical sockets look different around the world, but they all have one thing in common, at least two holes. It's because electricity must flow through a circuit, or a kind of circle. The current flows from your breaker box to the hot hole on the right, passes through the appliance, say your hair dryer or lamp, and then comes back to the neutral left hole. A blue whale's heart is the size of a golf cart and can weigh 400 pounds. Your heart weighs 10 ounces. That makes a blue whale's heart 640 times larger than a human's. But the one with the biggest heart compared to body size amongst all animals, it's your loyal loving dog. People getting their picture taken during Victorian times said prunes instead of cheese. Shaping the mouth this way apparently gave them a nobler look. Plus, it could take 15 to 30 minutes just to take one photo. Imagine holding a smile for that long. Cleopatra lived closer to the release of the first iPhone than to the building of the Great Pyramids. When the first dinosaur fossils were discovered in the 1670s, people had no idea what they were. Their best guess, the bones belonged to an extinct species of giant humans. Fossils also show that 40 million years ago, penguins were the size of a kangaroo. The world's largest waterfall is underwater. This is the Denmark Strait Cataract, where cold, denser water from the Nordic seas flows under warm water from the Erminger Sea. Along the way, it falls 11,500 feet over an underwater ridge. That's more than three times the height of the tallest waterfall on land. Australia is wider than the moon. Check the numbers. The land down under is almost 2,500 miles across. The moon, a little over 2,100. It took Rubik's Cube creator Erno Rubik one month to solve the cube after he created it in the early 70s. The world record today is 3.47 seconds. Lightning is four times hotter than the sun. A single bolt can toast over 100,000 slices of bread. Pineapples have a digestive enzyme in them. So when you eat a pineapple, it eats a little bit of you too. That's why it burns a little in your mouth when you bite into one. No worries though, your stomach will always come out the winner in this match. Disposable chopsticks are connected at the top, so you know they haven't been used before. You're supposed to break that connected top off and lay your used chopsticks on it so they don't touch the table. The main function of eyebrows is to protect your eyes from sweat and dirt. That's why they grow toward your temples, to direct moisture to the sides, instead of straight down. But they also protect your eyes from too much sunlight. Without brows, our species probably would have evolved to have really long, thick eyelashes. An average person will grow 600 miles of hair in a lifetime. That's about the distance from New York City to Dayton, Ohio. Point Nemo in the Pacific Ocean is the most remote place on our planet. It's more than 1,600 miles from any coast. If you traveled there, you'd be much closer to astronauts on the International Space Station than to any human on Earth. The ISS orbits just 250 miles above the surface. Watching paint dry is a profession. You sit in a chair in front of a freshly painted wall and, well, you get it. Your job is to track how the paint texture changes, where it cracks, and give a detailed report based on your thrilling observations. When people used sundials in ancient times, the shadow of the sun went from the left to the right in the northern hemisphere, and vice versa in the southern hemisphere. The first mechanical clocks were invented in the north, so they go with what we now know as clockwise. If it had been in the south, the directions could have been switched today. The body's fastest muscles are in the eye, and the blink of an eye is about one-tenth of a second. You do that 20,000 times a day. Next time someone says, I'll get it done in a jiffy, remember this, scientists say a jiffy is the time light needs to travel one centimeter, about the width of your fingernail, in a vacuum. Human fingertips are so sensitive, they can feel ridges in an object, even when they're just 13 nanometers deep. A nanometer is one millionth of a millimeter, and a millimeter is about the length of a grain of sand. In 1992, 
a cargo ship lost a crate with 28,000 rubber duckies in the North Pacific. These toys still appear on coasts around the world, even over in the Atlantic.